Jack Holland as well as Shane Crawford will go a long way in making this a tight tussle tonight. That leadership was very evident, was it? Crawford and Holland against the Bulldogs. They were down, not quite out in the third quarter, but they were able to come back strong. Well, I think Nick Holland took a major step last week. He turned on him. I think it's actually favour Hawthorne. I think the rain is coming, it's going, but uh, we'll get to the game and see how they handle the condition. Thank you for that. Uh, Peter McKenna is in the stands tonight, so we'll be uh, talking to him as well. Chick gets the first kick. Hawks kicking into the breeze tonight. And Dixon's got a free kick. About 80 metres from goal. Great belting down also. What do you think, Platts? Is it an advantage for the Hawks? Oh, it could be, uh, Jerry. It's, uh, it's going to be very interesting because Port do start well in this last three weeks as well. Dixon punches it into the breeze. Gets it almost uh, towards the goal square. Me tried to belt it away. Half it over the top of it. Dickie with that new haircut. And they're quickly on to him and it'll be a ball up about 40 metres out from Hawthorne's goal. Have a look at Donald Dickey. You'd want to play a big game looking like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's not going to be hard to find in the ground. So Salmon playing for the Hawks. So Farrell misses out along with Rock, Danilchenko and Barker. They're the four that missed out from their squad tonight. Free kick picked out and going to the Hawks. And importantly, Nick Holder started deep in the forward line as full forward. Short kick by Trelevin, cut off by Wilson. Holland kicked five goals against Port Adelaide the last time they played. He played on Paxman, but tonight Mead has got a good record on him, goes back to full back on him. Wilson, Norwich rising star, a couple of seasons ago. Had a slow start to this year with a groin problem. Kingsley, the best and fairest of the club last year, has got it at half back. And goes short, and this has been Port style. They haven't wasted it. Daniels. Stephen Daniels at left half back for Port Adelaide. Important that uh, maybe the Hawks could put a score on the board into the breeze. You saw the kick that came in from Dixon and held up dramatically. So a certain breeze advantage with Port Adelaide in this first quarter. And Port Adelaide going very short up and full forward. Uh, in their full forward line, they've got Burgoyne, Eagleton and Shaycock are two Collins. So they expect the ball to come in low and come in quickly. Well, the kick into the middle has been uh, missed there by Daniels, gathered by Wanganini, quickly throws it onto his boot, kicks it forward, Salmon, dispossessed by Cockatoo Collins, all Essendon players at one stage, Wanganini, Salmon and Cockatoo Collins. Hawks across half-back, try to clear the ball into the middle, great effort by Wanganini. It's very hard to judge the football in the breeze and control the slippery football. Bit of a dust-up there between Nick Holland and his immediate opponent. Wanganini ignores all that and gets the ball wide to Francis. Crawford looks like he's got the job on Eagleton too. He's Crawford playing basically in uh, the full back zone. Wanganin again, third possession. He runs the full distance and then hammers the goal. And getting back there and building it through at the end. I think it was Crawford for a behind. Good mate there by Gavin. Just a bit of a juggle there. Kept his eyes on the ball. A good captain's man. Bruce Abernethy, the interchange for Port. Yes, Bruce, uh, Barnaby French, Daryl Paul's back for his first game. Brendan Laid, Mark Howard, and incredibly Braden Lyle and Jared Schofield, who would you imagine these conditions are perfect for? That's it is interesting. Wilson. And Bruce. Out of play, dip of the Hawthorne uh, interchange. Uh, Bruce, here we are. Chris Hobbs, uh, Chris Barlow, Adrian Cox, Thompson, Brad Lloyd, and uh, Collingham. So all their youngsters really on the interchange there for the Hawks. Port Adelaide have uh, readjusted their defence. They've got uh, Paxman going down to full back to pick up Holland. And Robbins at centre half forward and Mead's going with him. So Mead back in the position uh, that he's made his own at Port Adelaide. Off the side of Trelevin's boot in these very difficult conditions. Out of bounds on the full. So it's a uh, Fabian Francis kick in. Well, Francis playing uh, across half back by the look of it. Gee, Wanganin's been prominent early. He's going to be forced to bounce, and Good Shepherd provided by one of his teammates there. The kick in towards left half forward. Cockatoo Collins, the race is on here. And the ball just trundling awkwardly for eventually Nick Stevens to take it over in front of Tony Woods for a boundary throw in just forward of centre wing favouring Port Adelaide. And a good pace shown there by Luke McCabe. He's a very talented player. Plays in midfield, but he has been playing as a defender in the back pocket in uh, this handset cup. And he's on Cockatoo Collins. Salmon prepared to bash it forward and over for another throw in. Port Adelaide have scored just a behind. Hawthorne have had the ball up on cross their half forward line on a couple of occasions. 
yet to score very early in the 1999 Ansett Cup Grand oh. Final. Struggle for possession. Woods was good in underneath there. Chalmers over the top, but the umpire decides that he will ball it up. Right near the player's interchange area, Tony Woods in screen. Chalmers tries to get rid of Salmon. Ball comes to ground. Franco overruns it. Trelevin. Salmon. Little tap on. Not too bad in the finish. Robren got his hands to it. A little bit suspect. The moving on of that football. Polton for Port Adelaide. Clears. And clears rather ordinarily over on the full. Free kick to the Hawks. That's where they're going to be really, really careful at this stage of the game. They can use a short pass, but they don't get it away from the, the short pass. And Hawthorne are going to turn it over and get it down to the full line. Vandenberg. Wanganeen, who's uh, started brilliantly. Stevens, good give. It was uh, clever to Kingsley. Kingsley at centre wing. Keeps it down low. It's going to be very hard to take high marks this evening. Graham is playing at centre half back. Gets it from Salmon. Kicks the ball back to centre wing. Belted away by Daniels. Not very far. Taken by Lekas. Lekas gets it inside 50. Bouncing ball. Well done by Mead. Controlled it. The handball under pressure. Wilson goes to ground under pressure. Little toe poke away from Holland. Potton gets in there. Holland gets a second go at it. Spins, weaves and ridden into the ground and taken over the line. Good defensive play by Paxman. A boundary throw in about 30 metres from Hawthorne's goal. And the Hawks really trying to close the game up. They're not the only ones tackling here. We see a pretty good one from Port Adelaide. But already Port Adelaide's uh, want to use the short pass and high possession game is uh, costing them at the moment. Gee, a little kick there by Daniel Chick to the advantage of the Hawks. But taken away in the finish by Franco. He kicks it out wide. This is Graham mopping it up. Little left foot kick into the pocket. Too far for Lekas. And at number 10 for Port Adelaide, Josh Franco. And Robbo, it's interesting to watch this Hawthorne forward line when Holland comes deep into full forward. Obviously, Mark Williams thinks that Paxman is a better player at fullback and Mead a much better player at centre back because he does leave Mead at centre back where he's taken them all on over the past 12 months and beaten them all. Peter McKenna there, who's working the grandstands again tonight. Graham slung off the footy. The ball spills Franco. Dickey for Port Adelaide across his left shoulder. Not bad, but the only player back there was Salmon. Experienced campaigner. Many games now, many finals. And he's marked safely. Gets it forward. Graham, another possession to Graham. Left foot kick in towards the half forward area. Robran struggling for Hawthorne. Chance for Dixon. To nearly taken by Daniels, it was a little high, but Dixon doesn't mess around, moves it on quickly, comes back to the Hawks, they kick it forward, Holland, he's got it, right in front of goal, and this is what I was talking about, an important early score for Hawthorne, will give them tremendous confidence, on the other hand, Port Adelaide going with the breeze at this stage of just managed to behind. But I think you can uh, take this, uh, this uh, goal, what should be a goal, way back to the pressure that was placed on Port Adelaide to make them kick the ball long and blindly, Paul Salmon sitting kick behind the play mops up and turns the ball in his favour. Just has to convert. Not many chances at that end of the ground, you wouldn't think. A goal to Holland. You just see them uh, with, with uh, uh, Nick Holland. I think this is where we all started from as well. Great mark. And Nick will be very, very important to the side tonight. If he can kick his three or four goals tonight, uh, the Hawkers have got a great chance. Strong mark. By one of their stars. So Holland gets the opening goal in what should be a low scoring contest. Vandenberg to half forward. Dixon and Poulton. Poulton quickly away to centre wing. Well done by Fiegert. Quick handball, put Kingsley under pressure, was it a throw? Back to Fiegert, Fiegert's got some space, goes towards centre half forward, wants Eagleton, bounces off Salmon, Dickey couldn't control it, it was a hard footy, Crawford, who has got the job on Eagleton, to Graham, whose uh, birthday today, he's 26 years of age, back to Hassel, lateral handball, Tony Woods, a little bit blonder tonight, to Graham again, Graham getting plenty of it from centre half back, kicks the ball to about 70 metres, very good take by Franco to Poulton, controlled it, got it round the body and found Kingsley at half back. Again on short, wants Treadray, bouncing ball, hard to control, out of place in a wing. 
Yeah, Bruce, uh, the chipping game uh, for both sides won't work tonight. These balls getting heavier, and obviously with the conditions down here, they need to get uh, one uh, quick handball and one long kick. What's the breeze worth, do you think? I think it's worth uh, two or three goals going towards Port's uh, favour. Well, Gavin Wanganoon didn't hesitate when he won the toss. He very quickly indicated that he would go to the main scoreboard end in the first term. We have another look at this free kick. Johnny Hassel just uh, illegally out of that action against Franco. So Hassel to take the free kick for Hawthorne right on centre wing. Gets reasonable distance into the breeze. The ball at half forward. Chance for Dixon. He's in underneath there. His opposition is Darren Mead. And the umpire is indicating now that it's Mead that didn't move it on. So Dixon to take the free kick. Quickly onto the left foot. In towards half forward. Getting back and taking a good mark as Daniels. Aaron Lord a little late on the scene. Stephen Daniels. Promising player for Port Adelaide. Just a youngster. He's got the ball between full-back and centre-half-back. We do see Mead get in front of Dixon here. And this was the incident where the umpire decided that Mead didn't move it on. The free kick was given to Ben Dixon. Franco with the football. Little left foot kick. Not really to the advantage there. Crow quickly onto his boot to half-forward. High flyer at the back. Chance here now again for Hawthorne. It's Dixon back onto his right. He's doing a good job moving, moving and providing a target. Chick overruns the football. Wanganin and Dicky in there. And the ball will be thrown in the air just inside the forward 50 for Hawthorne. Well, it's going to be interesting to see if Port Adelaide are one-dimensional because uh, right now you would think that the way they have been winning games isn't going to be successful tonight. Chipping the ball around, expecting a high skill game to uh, get you through the goals. Holland gets over me. Dicky under pressure. Holland off the ground. Ball ricochets off. A couple of players are kicking in danger. Free kick to Port Adelaide. To Darren Mead. Elevated to a vice captaincy this year. He was an assistant last year. That's one of the things tonight. It's just uh, it's going to be really slip with there tonight. So main thing, keep the ball going forward. Short to Daniels. We can judge so far. Be very pleased, uh, John, the way that his teammates, that his charges are actually matching up. And you can just see there on the wider screen that the Hawks are so conscientious in uh, manning up when. Port Adelaide have got the ball in defence. Kent's uh, very, very good on uh, accountability. This night will be right on it tonight. Graham got it from Hassel. Half a good stretch in the front spot. Went early against Francis and held on. Quickly gives it off. High ball by Lekas to fall forward. Front spot Mead and also Daniels. Now a chance for Robin. Mead's got to get rid of it. He's in trouble. Oh, he was lucky. They've uh, been renowned for their good starts in the Ancet Cup so far this year. There just seems to be a lack of spark out there, and they're concentrating a great deal on their set plays, which I think they're going to have to readjust in these conditions. That's Bruce Abernethy on the boundary line. Kingsley's handball, it missed. Franco's had it a few times, Wanganin's had it plenty. Takes his time, kicks to the space, tried to draw it down the field. He's so good at that, Wanganin. Five kicks and one handball to the captain, who played in... Uh, Two night premierships, two answer cup premierships with Hawthorne, uh, with uh, Essendon, I should say, in 93 and also in 94. So I think the umpire, uh, a fairly uh, courageous decision, I think, Robbo, if it had been a football park, not to play that one. <laughs> oh, well, I think that's always been a conjectural part of our game, Jared, hasn't it? The, well, the umpires uh, the... have been told to uh, be far more stricter on this, and to me, Robbo, he's dragged the ball in there and he's got his own man blocking in. That's a free kick. So Franco moves it forward. Jonathan Hay, his immediate opponent, Warren Treadray. Umpire gives the all clear for a boundary throw in. Interestingly, we've had a lot of discussion about the bounce of the ball at the start of the game. I watched the, uh, after Nick Holland kicked the goal, the central umpire, we're looking here at the uh, weather conditions, expected minimum 13 at presently 17. The umpire did throw it in the air at the centre bounce after that Nick Holland goal. We've got a uh, player leaving the ground through the blood rule. Might be as a Daniels by the look of it. So taking his time, obviously giving his replacement plenty of uh, time to work it all out. As also, to where he'll go and who his opponent will be. And I think it also gives the match committee also time to reset their defence. Harwood's come on, Mark Harwood. The 20-year-old. So Daniels to be patched up there. And again, it'll be a ball up. So I was just going to ask the rat, uh, Johnny Platt, where his allegiance is tonight. Uh, oh, the Hawks of South Australia. Oh, thank you.